Hello, sports fans and baseball fans and Stratomatic baseball fans. And if you happen to be a fan of my alternate league, well, all the better. Because today we are going to have an alternate league game between my White Sox and the Baltimore Orioles of our league. And again, these teams are all made up of guys from different um, players from different eras and different years. And so this isn't really a typical White Sox team. We do lead off with Tim Anderson, and he is a White Sox player. But uh, And Fisk was a White Sox player. But there aren't very many of them in here. So anyway, we are going to play Baltimore today. Um, I guess what we should do is, well, we're going to get into the game. And then after the game, we'll look at the standings and see where we are. We are in terrible shape, though. We are very bad this year, and um, we uh, probably aren't going to get the first pick because, as I said before, Arizona and Tampa Bay were made intentionally to be terrible teams, so they are worse than we are, but I think we're like the third worst team. So we're going to uh, play this game today. Now, we may have a chance of winning because Robbie Ray is our best pitcher, and as you can see, he's pitching for us. Tommy John is pitching for Baltimore. Baltimore's lineup will be Paul Molitor at third, Vic Davillo, Davillo, I don't know, Daviallo, I don't know how you pronounce his name, in center field. Eddie Murray at first base, so he's an actual Oriole. Um, Schwarber will be their left fielder. Rocky Calavito will be in right. Cal Ripken, shortstop, actual Baltimore Oriole. Uh, Bill Freehan, the catcher, and Don Buford, who was also an actual Oriole. So they've got more Orioles than we have White Sox on our team. And then Tommy John is pitching for them. For us, the lineup will be Tim Anderson leading off and playing shortstop, Tony Oliva in right field, Pete Alonzo is our first baseman, Ben Ogilvy will be in left, Doug DeCince at third base, Carlton Fisk, our second White Sox, is going to be the catcher. Frank White will be the second baseman. George Wright in center field. And Robbie Ray pitching. And so with that, we are going to get on with the game. And you can see there's Robbie Ray's beautiful face right there. And he's ready to pitch to Molitor. So we're going to get underway with this. And Molitor is going to ground out to shortstop, and that brings up Vic Davillo. I, <laughs> I don't know. He's going to get a single, though. He's going to single up the middle, and now he is aboard with Eddie Murray up. And he tried to get a lead, but he couldn't, and Eddie Murray is going to strike out. So we got two down quickly, and Kyle Schwarbman is up, and he strikes out. Big strikeout guy. And now we are facing Tommy John in the bottom of the first inning with a TA7. And he is going to ground out to first base for the first out. Got Tony Oliva up. And Tony Oliva is going to hit a single. He just missed a double. Well, he didn't just miss a double, but he missed it. Pete Alonzo will be up next. And he's walking. So we got two guys on with only one away and Ben Ogilvy up and he's going to line out to the second baseman giving way to Doug DeCince who's been a good hitter for us this year but he's going to fly out to center to end whatever threat we were trying to mount there Robbie Ray goes back out to the bump and he's going to deal to Rocky Calavito who's going to fly ball to right where Oliva is he's a good defensive right fielder and he does make the catch Cal Ripken, the Iron Man, is going to ground out to second base. And Bill Freehan, a very good catcher in his day, he is going to hit a fly ball to George Wright. Luckily, George Wright is a good fielding outfielder, and he makes the play. And so Carlton Fisk is the batter for us, and he strikes out. He's having a terrible year. Frank White, the second baseman, is up, and he's going to ground out to first base. So we got two outs here in the second with George Wright, the batter. He's going to hit a ground ball out to Ripken, but he is out. So Don Buford is facing Robbie Ray. 
He's going to hit a ground ball at White. White is a very good second baseman and makes the play. Tommy John is up. I will say our pitching is among the best pitching in the league. We do have a good uh, staff ERA. We just cannot hit the ball to save our lives. And it looks like Molitor is going to have a fly out. So we've got Robbie Ray batting against Tommy John. And he's going to walk. Nice. The pitcher working a walk. Love to see that. Timmy Anderson's up. And he's going to line out to shortstop. Oliva is the batter. And he's going to hit a home run. Oliva's taking that thing out of the park. And so we have a 2 nothing lead here in the third with Alonzo up. You would hope he could do that, but he can't. He's going to ground out to third base, and so there are two down. And um, Ben Ogilvy is up, and he is going to ground out. So we go to the top of the fourth. Vic DeVillo is up. And he is going to line out. Robbie Ray pitching really great here. Eddie Murray, the next batter, and he's going to ground back up the middle to Ray, who throws him out. And Schwarby, Schwarby is going to walk. So got Schwarber aboard with two outs. Schwarber was trying to get a lead. I don't know what that was about. But Calavito drew a walk. So they've got two guys on with Cal Ripken, the Iron Man, up, and he strikes out. So, Doug DeCinza is up for us. Like I said, he's having a pretty good year. That looks like it'll be a single, and it is. Carlton Fisk is up. He's having a terrible year, and he continues to have that terrible year. He's 0 for 2 now. And Frank White is the batter, and he's going to ground out into a double play. To end the inning, looks like Ray is going to have to shut these guys out, or at least not allow more than one more run. because. Um, we are we don't show the uh, gumption to get any more than two runs. And here is Tommy John, probably bunted him over and did, and so we've got a ground ball to short from Molitor, which will be the third out. Tommy John back out to the mound to pitch to us in the bottom of the fifth with George Wright up. And George Wright is thrown out. Robbie Ray, no way I'm taking him out. He strikes out. And that brings up TA7, Tim Anderson, and he's going to walk. And Olive is up. He's two for two with a home run, and he's going to be three for three. He hits a single, and I am not going to send the runner. We're going to let Alonzo try to hit one out, but he doesn't. He pops out to short. So that would be a home run in a telephone booth, but not in this particular baseball park. DeVillo is going to lead off for Baltimore, and he is going to strike out. Ray gets him. But there is the run that they need. Eddie Murray, well, there's one run, one of the runs that they need. Eddie Murray hits a home run and makes the score 2-1. to one. With Schwarby up, and he strikes out. And that brings up Calavito, and Calavito is going to tie the game. And so you can see what you can see the problem that this team has. Cal Ripken is up. All it took was two guys hitting solo shots to tie the game, and we are showing the inability to get more than just two runs. Ogilvy is going to fly out to center field. Remember, stick around at the end. That's when I'm going to look at the standings and we can see what kind of bad trouble we're in. Carlton Fisk is going to pop out to third base. And we remain in a tied game in the top of the seventh inning. And that is going to be a line out by the catcher. And then Don Buford is up and he's going to hit a ball out to T.A. And T.A. makes the play and Tommy John is not going to bat. They're taking Tommy John out. They're going to pinch hit Randall Gritchick. And Gritchick is going to hit a single, but I don't know if a single is really worth taking John out of the game. Molitor is up, and he's going to strike out. So, Frank White is up, and now Dwight Bernard is pitching for the Orioles. I have to say we're probably glad to see that. You got a single to lead off the inning with White. Now you got Wright, and what's Wright going to do? He's going to single, 
and there's going to be runners at the corners with Ray up. You know what? I am going to pinch hit here. We really, really, really need a run, and we do have a good bullpen. Like I said, we have good pitching. So um, I'm going to pinch hit right here. He's a righty who's a 3R. I'm going to pinch hit Dave Collins for Robbie Ray. And that is going to be a single. Dave Collins right up the middle, and he draw, drives in the run. Got T.A. up, still no outs, but he's going to hit into a double play. And so that's why I did that. Oliva, though, they walk Oliva, and then they're going to pitch to the main man, Alonzo. So we only got the one run. We really have to have a really good pitcher here. And I am going to start that process with... Jimmy Herget. I think it's Jimmy Herget. Yep, we're going to start off with him pitching to Davillo, and he's going to ground out. So there's one down quickly, Eddie Murray up. Eddie Murray is going to ground out to second. So that's two out quickly, and Schwarby up, and he's going to strike out. So we maintain the 3-2 lead. Bernard is still out on the bump for them. We've got Ben Ogilvy up. Ben Ogilvy is going to line out to second. DeCince is up, and DeCince hits the ball down to Murray. Of course, Murray's a great first uh, fielding first baseman, and he makes the play, and Fisk is going to be up, and he is going to line out. I'm going to let Herget go this inning. He strikes out Calavito. Ripken is up, and Ripken is going to hit a ground ball. And Freehand is up, and no, they're going to pinch hit Ernie Witt for Freehand. And it works. He gets a double. So let's see if Herget is tired. Yep, he's tired, so I'm going to the bullpen. We are not going to leave a tired guy out there. I'm going to bring in Scott Barlow to pitch. And Don Buford is still the batter, and he is going to pop out to second. And that is it. We get the box score, and we did win this game. So now you can see the Orioles are 42 and 23. They're a good team. We are 29 and 39, and we aren't. But. Robbie Ray goes to 6-5. and five. He pitches seven innings, gives up five hits and two earned runs. And we're going to take a look at the standings. And you can see Cleveland is winning our division, and we are at the bottom of our division at 29-39, and 39, a 426 winning percentage. But we are better than Arizona, and we are better than Tampa Bay. And we're almost as good as Oakland. Now, that's not saying much, but we are. So at 29 and 39, we got to win. We have to uh, maybe try to build on that. But that is going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.